Good evening and welcome back. If you watched the last video, we tied up the league. We've reached 100 points exactly. And at the same time, it was confirmed that we were league champions. Only four matches left in the league. First of those four being against Sevilla. We've also got the first leg of the Europa League semi-final against AC Milan coming up. And this is the line that we're going in with today and quite a few flashing ups as you can see so we've tried to keep as many in as we can so Xerxes is going to play up top with Martinelli and Bajer playing on the right Carlos Perez did have a really good match in the last one but you've got to play someone when they're on and up Fabio Vieira luckily is coming back in Mariba's kept in his place with being on and up as is Herrera and Schubert back in goal Mandanda did look a bit dodgy in the last match letting a goal he shouldn't have and then he nearly let in another which was luckily just wide but anyway let's jump in see how we get on against Sevilla And it's a shame we couldn't actually tie up the league at home. We were actually away in the last game, but this will be really good for the crowd celebrating, hopefully with a win against Sevilla. And I did pick the second uh, choice strip for Sevilla. And I do really like the look of that red strip. The uh, different shades of reds in horizontal. Um, really like the look of that strip. Same as I like our uh, second strip, which is the sort of pinky different shades like the look of that anyway let's hope we can put in a good performance good to have the captain Fabio Vieira back he was missing in the last one only because he was on a downward red he was due at start I was going to play Castro up top today um, just for rotation and he is our first choice centre forward now but six he's on and up so and he did score two in the last match here he is first touch of the ball and here's Bajer I'm assuming everyone's pretty much on those upward arrows because of the uh, the championship win, the league win. Kind of makes sense that everyone will be, you know, happy and in a good mood. I'm assuming that's what it is. Oof. Wow. Well, there was a lot going on there. <laughs> that was very unlucky. Um... Not great defending down that left though, but a nice save by Schubert and I thought I'd got it covered and yeah, I think Schubert would have saved the set one but Kosinu deflects it over there. Not a great way to start. Was it Kosinu actually? It wasn't Mariba. It might be no, I think it was Mariba actually. Yeah, Kosinu was further over. Nice play by Emerson. Not a good pass though. Well, the crowd would have been in good moods before this, but um, probably wondering what's going on at this stage. I hope it's not going to be one of those games where the rub of the green doesn't go for us, but it's early stages. But really nice to get that league tied up. For some reason, I already thought we had actually officially tied it up. Um, I don't know why. And it was inevitable, really. Uh, never really... Oh, could be two here. And it is. What's going on? Well, the title celebration party is uh, very much been spoiled so far. Terrible defending. The only thing I can say is they've scored very early on twice. Um, so we've got plenty of time to get back into it. But it's definitely going to be a struggle. Oh, nice little ball to Martinelli. But he was a little bit slow off the mark. He was just backpedalling a little bit before the pass came in.
Nice play by Emerson. I don't know what's going on there. Nice play again by Emerson. Oh, and I love he bought the Zerg scene. Now, the trouble is he hasn't really got a lot of people there. Gets it back to Emerson, though. Now Vieira. Nice ball into Martinelli. No, he's offside. Oh, well offside there. get a goal, even if we could do that just before half time and there's still way left in this half but if we could get a 2-1 before half time makes such a difference, oh lovely ball there from Xerxes, what a pass that was now Bajer. Oh, good save Xerxes, try to be clever oh, and we don't get the luck there, that's bounced out for a goal kick I think after all that yeah there's the difference Just haven't had the look so far. Obviously, probably a bit shell shocked with that first early goal. The second one had no luck about it. It was a very well worked goal. Poor defending. Um, Sexy. Ah, it's not so much a good pass there. Oh, lovely play. Such quick passing. Jair. And it is 2 1 now. I thought we are going to get unlucky again. A very good save. He stuck his hand out and somehow stopped it. Pretty strong hands. It's bounced to Martinelli though. And the defender nearly stopped it going in. But those little passes there were very good. Yeah, should have scored. But good goalkeeping. And Martinelli didn't have his best game in the last one. Um, he was very much double man marked in the last one. Where he couldn't really get in. But he managed to score. Even with not having the best of games. And again, that's probably the first real contribution he's he's done in this uh, game so far. Alex Mariba down the left now. Vieira. Oh, well wide in the end. I was expecting that to hit the back of the net. Yeah, was so reliable normally in terms of finishing. Actually, more so, sort of not in the box, around the box. Uh, what's that? Is that a free kick to me? Or actually, actually got a free kick? Kelsey Breeze. Oh, nice play, Vieira. Oh, inside of the post. How unlucky again. And that's what he's normally good at. It's normally a roundabout outside the box or just inside. He's so good at scoring. He's got a very good shot on him. Just lurking around the edge of the box. And <laughs> very unlucky. Zixi, poor touch there. And that should be half time, and it is. Rafa Mir with two goals. I think that's about fair though, 2 1. And just jumping straight into the second half. Stats wise, I mean, possession was a bit more favourable to Sevilla. Not really surprised with how that half went. 6 8. Now Emerson. Love to see him put in a great performance again. He's pretty hit and miss. He's such a good player, but I wouldn't say consistency is his uh, the strength. Xerxes could be in. It's Martinelli now. Oh. Thought I was going to go in, to be honest. was I really don't nice tackle from Emerson though I have to put it can 
definitely see Castro coming on soon. See if he can make a difference. Oh, Martinelli. There's so much time there. There's so much space. I mean, that was me. It wasn't Martinelli. It was me. But um, sometimes the AI can just do weird things. But that was 100% me. Again, Put good tackle from Cosano. Don't know what he's doing all the way up here. Martinelli. Oh, we get a little bit of luck with deflection as well. How the turntables. Yeah, nice play by Boucher. He was holding it up well. Played it to Martinelli. <sighs> Defender's a little bit unlucky there, I would say. Did the right thing trying to block it. And normally the AI, I've said this before, are so good at blocking shots. Like, ridiculously good. Too good. This one actually goes in our favour. We'll make some subs now. We're going to bring on Carlos Perez for Boucher. Fabio Vieira is going off for Arcas because he's looking a bit tired on his first game back. And Castro going up top. I mean, we've turned it around, but there's still a way to go. It's only 2-2 now. And bringing on the big guns. To be fair, Bajer, very influential in that goal, but he just hasn't quite done it in the rest of the match, really. Um, here's Teixeira. Oh, still managed to keep it. Perez, now Emerson, nice play, was patient. Now Arcas, Martinelli, Carlos Perez. Herrera, ooh, I thought that was quite a way over in the end. Yeah, didn't even get a replay. Perez, that's uh, saying something that normally show you replay of every single piece of action Arriba, nice charge oh lovely play to Arcas oh and we get a look again <laughs> gotta feel sorry for the keeper there but Arcas the sub coming on you know I'm I still feel disappointed that we we have sold him and I've mentioned that a few times and since we sold him he's actually We've brought him on a few times and he's he's always performed well. He, he always does. Um, I think the thing with Arcas, my thoughts with, with selling him were we need the money and it was a good offer. And I think he's just not quite the level we want to be in the future. For now, he's, he's decent and he always puts in a good performance. Maybe it was a mistake selling him. I don't know. But... Um, And we were pretty much going gung-ho attacking, so I've reduced that down to sort of standard um, tactic-wise. But yeah, Arcas, it's a shame to let him go. I, I was originally planning, he was probably going to be the only original player that I was going to keep long-term. Um, but he's made it two seasons, he's going to win the league, he's hopefully going to win the Europa League. Let's hope he does that before he leaves. And uh, then he'll be going once the transfer window is open in July, I believe it is. But that money will come in good use. Hopefully we'll buy someone that's overall um, better than what he currently is. Or a youngster with a higher potential. Maybe. Anyway, concentrate on not letting in a goal. I haven't seen too much of Ruben Castro since he's come on. Oof, it's a hefty challenge. Nice pass from uh, Martinelli. <laughs> what was that? I don't know if you saw that, but that just had an absolute swing at me. 
Castro. Oh, come on. What? I don't know how he fell over there. Oh, I should have kept the replay on because I think that was just about when the uh, defender was having a swing at me. Got nowhere near me or the ball. Raven out. He's been pretty solid in this game. Outside the first sort of 10 minutes where everyone was uh, pretty poor and shell-shocked. Nice header there. Martinelli getting in each other's way. What is going on there? Absolutely hoofing that clear. And again, Martinelli nearly knocked over my mic there. And that's it, full time. And we actually get a trophy for that comeback king. I think that's for, it must be coming back from a two goal deficit to win. So there's a trophy I didn't uh, expect to get. And 50-50 possession, as always, we were pretty much the dominant team in terms of shots on target. Sevilla, again, very, very quick start. They just couldn't hold on to the lead, though, and we got that crucial goal before half-time. And I think after that, it was going to be fairly inevitable that we would find the equaliser. Martinelli get man of the match. I wouldn't disagree. I think, yeah, Arcas getting a seven. He came on, did a brilliant job. But as soon as we got that equaliser, it was then inevitable we're probably going to get the winner. But that's it for today, guys. As you can see, the next match is away to AC Milan. It'll be in the San Siro, the Europe League. Can't wait for that. It's going to be a brilliant match, hopefully. And then the second leg back home, which is, I think, to our advantage, really, after that league match in between. So join me for that one. Hit that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date. I'll see you all next time. Cheers.